Hey everyone, it's Dan from SideHustleReliance.com. So I'm all about making passive income, and where possibly, I like to make it passively on my PC, laptop, or Windows tablet. And I've actually recently been exploring the idea, is this possible? And it definitely is. So as is the case, all the applications I mentioned in this video will work in synergy to give you some serious passive income. Please note that some of the sites listed will take a bit of work, so I suggest doing this on a device which you actually use personally on a daily basis. One quick thing I want to mention though, I will not be mentioning crypto mining at all. Mainly because it can use a high amount of electricity to run, which means you would actually end up losing money in the long term unless you have a really high end GPU, which will be a high starting cost. So that's just something to be aware of. So the first thing I actually really want to mention is the browser Brave. So this browser actually pays you a cryptocurrency known as Basic Attention Tokens, or BAT, which can be sold on a range of different crypto exchanges such as Coinbase and Uphold. Firstly, you'll have to download the browser by clicking the top link in the description and sign up as normal. So this browser is actually based on the Chromium architecture, so you can actually install as many standard Chrome add-ons as you wish. But please note, it does actually have a cookie blocker built in, so for certain sites you may want to use a different browser. So the BAT is normally earned via pop-up ads you get in the bottom left or bottom right corner depending on what you choose. And one thing I suggest you do is actually put the ads up to 10 per hour in settings. This way you can maximize your earnings that much further. I make around $3 a month by using this browser. It's not much, but it definitely adds up. Two key sites I want to mention here is Hideout or Loot TV. So I normally run these on my phone farm, but if you don't actually have one, it's definitely worth incorporating this into your PC. So simply sign up and log into each platform. I'll leave a link in the description. And you just leave the applications windowed and open, and then you will just earn passively. Do not minimize the sites though, as you won't be credited for them. And every so often you will actually have to complete a capture on Hideout TV. It's normally around every four to six hours to ensure you're actually watching the video. When cashing out on Hideout though, it's always worth transferring to Loot Up. And that's just because you get more value than any other site, especially with their daily bonus wheel, where you can actually get 50% extra when you do transfer over. So that's always something to be aware of. With regards to Loot TV, always send it to free cash as the coins earned on Loot TV is a one to one ratio with regards to free cash. So if you earn $10 on Loot TV, you will get $10 worth of value on free cash. And for that reason, I'm running these applications and they make me around $30 a month by just running these passively. So the next thing I wanna mention is surf.b. It's a new site which works on any browser which allows extensions. So whenever you visit a site, you'll get a small little ad at the bottom of the site, which pays you a fraction of a penny to just run and leave it there. It is a very slow earner, so fair one in there. And if you don't do a lot of web surfing, it's not really gonna give you that amount of money. But if you are doing daily stuff and you are using the PC as your daily device, you can easily net yourself between 10 to 15 cents a month by just having it install. It's not bad for something which is totally passive and you don't really have to even pay attention to it. You can just leave it running and there you go. The next site I really wanna mention is Surf. Not to be confused with Surf.b. So this is a extension which tracks the sites you visit on certain browsers and pays you for it. So to start with, first of all, I've left an affiliate link in the description where you can get 1,000 points for free, which has a value of around $5 by just signing up and earning a total of 750 Surf points. Once signed in, just install the extension and there you go, you're ready to earn. But one thing I really wanna mention is this is only available in the US and Canada at the moment but you can still sign up and cash out if you've got access to a US number from a site like Text Verified, which offers you a way to actually purchase them and verify it. Sadly, these vouchers are only available to US and Canadian stores as well, so you will have to sell them to someone who is willing to buy these vouchers. I normally would draw Amazon, and then I try to sell them on the Reddit page r slash gift card exchange, which is always a reliable place to sell these gift cards. Using Surf, you can make around $3 a month the next earner I really like to use is something called Bing. So you may have heard of Bing and its whole search engine side of it, but a lot of people don't realize you can actually earn money from using it as your actual search engine. So Bing actually offers something called Microsoft Rewards where you earn points by just searching generally. So I always suggest replacing your existing search engine with Bing. So when we're drawing from Bing, you can actually withdraw these Microsoft Rewards for a range of different retailers around the world, depending on your region. So for example, in the UK, we can actually get like stuff like Curry's, PC World, Tesco's, and stuff like that. 
mainly just because I live in the UK. So I've actually got it set up as my default browser as mentioned before and I actually recently used the Bing points I've earned to actually buy the new Kirby game for the Nintendo Switch which is fantastic for something I just use passively. By using Bing, I make around $4 per month, which is always something worth doing. Two truly passive applications which I can't recommend enough is Honeygain and Peer2 Profit. These are data sharing applications and they work as in you send your unused bandwidth to them and they pay you cash. So to start, we've actually left a link to sign up to both of these platforms in the description and you just simply download the program's login and you'll just earn money passively. Once signed in, you'll be sharing your data with many other people who actually need it for VPNs and some other uses there. And you'll end up earning around $10 per month from using these applications. The final extension I really want to mention to earn some passive income is something known as Upvoice. This is for a lot of you who has actually access to a social media account on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter and YouTube, as well as an Amazon.com account. So what this extension does is it watches pop-up ads and reports it back to their system. One thing to note though, it is only available in the US and UK. But if you do actually have access to Text Verified again, which is the site to actually verify different regions and numbers, you can buy a single use US phone number there and then leave the extension running in the background. And like I said, it might monitor certain ads you actually see on the platform. And I make around $3.50 per month by just having this extension installed. And I normally cash out to Amazon.com vouchers. My passive earnings from these sites are only $53.60 a month. Those earnings aren't that bad to think about the electric cost associated with it. So I actually use a laptop as my daily device and as is the case it does actually have a battery built in so I only actually charge it a small amount of time and then I do everything else whilst it's actually just using the battery there which can actually save quite a bit more money on your overall bill which means you're actually making more profit which is great to know. As mentioned previously in the video though, there is other ways to make money such as using mining software which can run on your devices but like I said before in a lot of cases, it isn't really worth actually mining like things like Ethereum and Bitcoin, especially with Ethereum moving over to a proof of stake model. It just means you won't be able to mine it. So in my eyes, I wouldn't want to put like a large amount of money into mining software when in a few months it might be obsolete, you know. So I think it's always good to stay away from Bitcoin mining unless you actually have a large amount of money and you know you're going to be able to get your return back if you do have to sell the miners in the future. So that's something to be aware of. But that's everything I want to discuss in this video. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I always look over them and I try to help out where I can. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. Please leave a like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Uh, two videos right here on screen is my surf guide on a phone farm. So you can actually install the surf browser extension on a phone farm, which is great for passive income. And the other video is on hideout and how you can maximize your earnings by transferring them over to loot up. And it's just a quick guide on how you can actually maximize that income you're getting from there. Anyways, thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great day and take care of yourselves. Bye.